हेलो फ्रेंड अमित कुमार हेयर योर फ्रेंड एंड आई एम हेयर टुडे टू टॉक टू यू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग कॉल हाउ टू इम्प्रूव योर कम्युनिकेशन एंड हाउ टू बिकम ए पावरफुल कम्युनिकेटर आई टेल यू दिस दैट कम्युनिकेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड आई डू रिमेंबर दिस सिंस माय चाइल्डहुड आई स्टिल रिमेंबर वेन आई वॉज इन फाइव सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड एंड on 15th august or 26th jan there is to be the speech competition then i was not able to participate i don't know somewhere somewhere in my mind i used to feel how whether i'll be able to speak in front of those people if i am speaking will i able to remember those things i'll have to mug up so many things and i'll forget then others will look at me stare me and i'll feel so bad about that and i don't know what all things so that was that what other people will say see what was happening i was Uh, average student uh, in the class or I, or i would say that in that i was i was uh, in a village and there was a government school in that classroom i used to be the uh, no number 1 but thing is that is such a small place it was so i would say that i was average student but uh, then but but thing is uh, in study somehow i were to do good okay but whenever it come to speech and giving speech in front of people then i have to feel that it is very scary and i will not be able to handle that pressure and though i have to give that uh, speech in hindi only because the medium was hindi but this was not the case see actually it doesn't matter which language you are speaking ultimately speaking in front of public so when you are speaking in front of public there are two things you have to speak and there are public so facing public is a fear which many of the people are having and that only pulls them back to go and face the public and talk in front of them and this particular thing persisted for a long time actually and when i uh, you know joined my engineering in 2002 there also i never practiced and i had a limiting belief that i'll forget i cannot speak so i was holding myself back but from 2002 i started working on okay one of the limiting belief was that i am not good in english and i cannot uh, no remember so many words i cannot uh, pronounce those sentences so to improve that i started working on it in fact i w- started watching english movies along with my friends even though i was not understanding then to start with i was just reading newspaper noting down those those many words and i still remember that when one of the classrooms of heat transfer when i was in second year the faculty asked a question the answer of that i was knowing but still i was not able to give him the answer because i didn't know the meaning of entities he asked what are the entities of mass transfer okay and uh, he could have asked what are the components or some other uh, word which i was knowing then i could have answered but since i didn't know the meaning of entities i struggled and i was not able to give him the answer and he felt that i am a average guy or i am a guy who is just trying to pass out the exam and and he considered me as a below average student and that kept the impression for the whole semester and i was not able to score very good because that faculty was not giving a marks on the basis of what you write only in the exam he will see your throughout performance in the classroom and according to that he will give the marks so what i'm trying to say is see communication and english communication is important and we neglect it so many times and then we don't practice and we don't do much about it many people are having feeling that it is a very fancy thing you cannot learn it i can share with you my experience some of the colleagues who are from bihar in fact i also belong to bihar and some of the colleagues they were having very good iq very good in maths and other analytical skills but when uh, it came to english they used to feel are uh, english is something oh i am i don't want to put much effort in this this is uh, not my cup of tea so thing is that you keep in your mind such a limiting belief that english is something very fancy it is not my cup of tea i cannot give much time to it though they will be able to solve so complex problem but they will not do this whereas this skill is very important if you want to grow in your life you want to succeed in your life if you want to go and speak in front of lot of people so this is very important and anything becomes perfect by way of only practicing so repetition is important uh, uh, reading is important listening is important watching english movies english uh, no sometimes news which is uh, no uh, giving some information to you so you can watch you can read you can 
write all these things are important and you have to do on a continuous basis and it can be mastered it can be learned anything which is learnable you should give time and learn it and you will become master in it i'll tell you when i came to bangalore in fact i was surprised to see in my office one of the office boy he was not even passed the 7th or 8th standard properly but he was talking good english because he you he was talking to the you no know, seniors uh, in the office he was just talking so like any other language he started speaking english very well and apart from that he was talking kannada uh, telugu tamil so many languages he was speaking you know hindi was speaking and he was talking to me in english hindi both so what i'm trying to tell you language is a language but thing is that you have to give time you have to take out the limiting beliefs from your mind that it is something you no know, out of my reach I, i i cannot give that much time i cannot learn the moment you think that it is learnable skill and you can learn it like any other people are learning so your journey will start there so start your journey improve your communication skill and english is important so you start reading start from a small easy book start reading newspaper start noting down words and start talking now everybody is having a smartphone in your hand start making videos and talking to yourself just see how you are talking take a topic and speak on that and you just see how did you speak uh where all you have uh, no need uh, corrections improvement so there is the no your inner circle you can make videos you can circulate among your close group you can make a private face group facebook group and you can pay post your videos and you can ask for the feedback comments from the people you appreciate other people they will also appreciate you and if you keep doing this i can tell you you can become a very powerful communicator in the english communication so keep doing that keep growing and you will reach at the top thank you amit here and if you are like please subscribe my channel and like the video thank you